previously on East Charmer. So this is the behind the scenes of our task sequence and how our image processing works in the background. We use a task sequence editor, which is a tool in SCCM that allows users to create and modify task sequences. So these task sequence is a series of automated steps designed to perform complex actions like deploying operating systems that we use for our imaging process. So here is an example of how our task sequence looks like. Also keep in mind that the task sequence follows a strict top-down order to automate the deployment process. So the first part is installing the operating system. First, the task sequence begins by booting the target computer into the Windows pre-installation environment or the WinPE. Then, it partitions the disk which prepares the hard drives for the new operating system by formatting and partitioning them as needed. Then, it will prompt us for the operating system we want to install. This is when we saw the prompt earlier when imaging the computer. And the prompt for computer name and description for Active Directory. And this is when we saw this prompt. And this will prompt for app selection. This is when we choose the different apps to install. And the last prompt is for OU selection. This is when choosing different departments for the computer. Next is it will install the operating system depending on your choice. And after the OS was installed, it will create a local administrator account depending on the operating system with the local admin password that you've set up. The local admin account is for the IT team to be able to access the computers just in case it falls off the domain. And the last step for this part is for the computer to join the domain. In task sequence, the order is critical. 
steps are processed in sequential manner and the order in which they are added significantly impacts the entire deployment. The next part is installing the driver package for the different make and model of computer. As you can see in here, we have different make and model of laptops that we are migrating to Windows 11. And it's really important that the correct drivers for the hardware components are applied to ensure proper functionality of the system. And the same goes for the computers that will be installed with Windows 10 1809 operating system. The next step is installing the SCCM client agent. Every computer in our company needs the SCCM client agent installed. And once it's installed, it will reboot the computer. The next step is to update the Active Directory computer with the correct description. From the information that was entered in this prompt, Task Sequence will update the computer description on Active Directory from what you entered in here. We temporarily add the SCCM account to local admin so it has enough rights to run the script on the machine and update the computer description in Active Directory. Next, we're installing other necessary drivers like the chipset, Bluetooth, utilities, and graphic drivers for different make and models of computer that we are using. Next step is the common applications that we install on the computers. These are the software that every computer should have, like the remote client agent, CrowdStrike in our case, VPN client for the laptops, Microsoft Office of course, and special software that we use in the company. And next is rebooting the computer once everything is installed. Next step is installing the Windows updates. We install Windows updates when we image so the machine is secure, stable, and fully up to date before users even log in. And the last step in our task sequence is the task sequence status notification. This step will notify us if all the computers have gone through all of the steps in the task sequence and completed them. It sends us notification through email and here's an example. On the email, it will include the hostname of the computer that completed the imaging process and it will be sent to the distribution list for our IT team. And this is how we know if the computers did or didn't complete the imaging process.